So yeah, we got a problem. This side fits perfectly, lines up, but once we come to this side, you guys can see that gap right it has right there. Just because this lower piece, lower radiator support, it brings this side up. Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of Savage Rebuilds. Um, it's really early today, so right now I'm pumping gas as you guys can see. For now, I'm gonna head to uh, Portland, Oregon because uh, I got some parts from over there for the Infinity. And the shipping is 300 bucks. I'm like, I can probably spend like 70 bucks of gas, go pick them up and drive back. That's only like a three hour drive. You know, save a few, a few hundred bucks. So, yep, right now I'm pumping gas, gonna get something to eat, and then I'm gonna be on my way. I'll keep you guys updated. And we got a new project for you guys coming up, so we won't reveal that until we get this project done. So stay tuned. Look what we got. We got a few parts that came in today. We're gonna open them up to see the condition. This one scares me a little bit right here. We're gonna open them up to see the condition of them. Some of them are in parts, some of them are at the market, but this is what we came in so far. We should have more parts coming in this weekend. Let's start opening up and see what we got. The first package right here, let's see what came in. What are these? Sway bar links. Sway bar links. Let's open this one now. I'm pretty sure we know what this one is. Let me open it from the... What do we got right here? Let's see. I think all right here is the bottom. Brand new axle, what we've been waiting for. This is the piece that's, that's stuck inside the, the transmission. Because we're going to pull it off from the boot. So this, this is the axle. Got that. And the next part we're going to open is this one over here. I think this is the one we're really worried about because it's too... It, it's tiny for what we think it is. And we can't think of nothing else. So that's the reason we wanted to open it up to see if if it is what it is and if it's the right size. If not, so we can return it and just get another one. But we're never gonna find out. Oh, well, let me take it out. It looks good. <laughs> This looks small. Yeah, I think it's a. I think it is. It, it is it. Dude, this looks small. Oh yeah, it is good. Actually, yeah, it is. You see? Yeah, it is. See, this is the this is the back side of it, or the front. It's cracked right here. Let me find out. It's cracked. It is. I hear too good. Oh no, it's like oh, it's just how, yeah, it's just like that. Yeah, it's just like that. From what I'm seeing, it's in good condition. This is the uh, on ours. It was broken from the. Let me see. Take it out all the way. We'll put it on top of the box. Take it on the box. On ours, it was broken from. I think we're trying to figure out which way is the top. I think this is the bottom. On ours, all this was broken, and it had some few cracks here and there. I believe it was broken from here as well. I mean, if we wanted to do it the cheap way, that's not really important. We could have just not replaced it, but we want this car OEM. So we decided to order it. Plus it wasn't that pricey. And the last box, straight from these on themselves. Gotta keep this invoice right here. This was the most priciest one out of them all. Package inside a package. You can't pull it out. Here, I'll grab this end. Pull it out. Fine. 
or, or flip the box around. We got the the driver's side fender, great condition. Okay, with the thousand two hundred bucks. Probably. Let's put this back in the box. You guys can see that is from my other project. That's a Mercedes that I'm building on the side. So we got the fender, the radiator support. We got the sway bar links and the axle we're still waiting on a few more parts to come in we'll reveal that on the next uh no not in the next video we'll probably re reveal it on the same video just as soon as they come in look at this axle right here yeah it's pretty good it's leaking though but it's good they didn't tiny well We'll, 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 look, we'll, we'll look into it later. Oh, it has all that. Yeah, it has grease. Dirty. Damn, so this is still stuck in the car? Yeah, we just, we just pull it off. Get a flat here. Then the swing bar links, they, 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 um, they, um, cheap ones. The, the sway bar links are not cheap ones? CRQ. CRQ, the brand. OEM, and so we got some good name brand parts. I didn't parts. get these OEM brands. Would have, they would have been like, what? Yeah, yeah, these are. Yeah, they're they're all brand new. Fresh the wheels look trash. So apparently, more parts came in. As you guys can see, not much, but just a few more. So exhausted from my Mercedes, so not about that. So now I'm gonna try to put him in the car and uh, get going. Go to the shop and start installing the front end. I just gotta figure out. One package is not for the Infinity. It's actually from a Trailblazer for another project that I have. So right now we're gonna put everything in the car and we'll head over there right now. Beautiful day today. Um, right now I'm just arriving to the shop. I have the parts with me as you guys can see right here. Just jammed them up on in the back. Just getting right here. Uh, sadly I'm gonna be doing this today. Probably couldn't make it. But I mean, we gotta get this puppy done. Look at that, she's right there. Today I'm gonna start on the front end. I'm going to take off the radiator support and uh, change change that. Do the AC condenser and as well because I was damaged. And maybe start putting some of the suspension parts, but we'll see because uh um we still have we still don't have the subframe. We should be getting that maybe by Tuesday. So once we get that. I'll throw in the subframe, then I'll throw in the suspension, and then we'll finally lower the car and drive it and see what's see if it drives perfect. If it needs anything, if not, I'll start going. I'll start going ahead and uh, start putting in the front bumper, airbags at two as that as well. So yeah, let's get started. I got some part, some of this side dismantled, dismantled already. Um, see, it was broken right here. Got some plastic pieces right here that are broken. So I don't really gotta do much on this. I just do the same as I did on the other side. I'm gonna start working here on the top. Let's keep going. Alright everyone, so 
So here's the old one. You guys can see it's basically broken in half. Um, right now I'm gonna pull this AC condenser out. Good call, so the so the radiator is not broken. So I'm not gonna install the new AC condenser. And uh, I don't think I have these crud. I think I'm gonna have to order these. Yeah, because this one looks like it's in good condition. But this one, or maybe I can put a washer, put a bigger washer, and then put the bolt in. See some plastic pieces down there. The radiator looks good, it looks fine. So right now I'm gonna take out this AC condenser. We got the new one right here in the box. And then we got the new radiator support right here. Once I have this all installed, I don't have to worry about the front end much because I mean, it has no frame damage, no structure damage at all. So I got it, I got it out of the box already. One thing to always make sure, Make sure everything is exactly the same. So right now, I'm trying to compare if everything looks the same. Uh, so this would be the, this would be the front. Oh, it comes with these. So I don't have to worry about these plastic pieces. Cause these, these come with it, just a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. Uh, yeah, so I'm showing you guys right now. See that sensor? It goes right, you gotta remove that bolt right here. And you install a new sensor. Um, everything else looks the same, so just get this old one off and just put this new one on, and so what is the old, and just put the AC uh, the radiator support on. And let's see how it looks. Nice. So I'm gonna take off this bolt right here. Mm -hmm. right, you got a lot of cars. So you hear that air? When I loosen this bolt, that's to, uh, they always check it out. They always put air in the system to see if it doesn't leak before they ship it out. And as you guys can hear, it sounded great. It, it, it holds pressure. So 13. Here, give myself a tripod, honestly. Oops, that was diamond sound, right? There's my bolts of 14. There we go. One thing about these sensors, they're really hard to take off. I feel like I should have just left it on the car first. Let me see if I can loosen it. Oh, never mind. Oh, so easy. Install this right here. You guys can see. Tying the puppy up. Take it out of the box. All right, I just noticed something. Oh, besides the fat mess everywhere. I forgot we needed to order this because we just ordered the sun frame, but this goes attached to the sun frame. But I didn't think this was going to be a big deal, but I didn't realize that the, the radiator support goes right on this. So I won't be able to put the new radiator support on because uh, since it's dented up here, you know, this, the, 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 the radiator support is going to hit shoot and if i remove this the radiator is going to be hanging <sighs> crud what am i going to do now i kind of don't just want to leave it like this i kind of want to ah <sighs> shoot 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 what can i do what can i do what can i do <sighs> well let me try what i'm going to try first is putting the soft frame on here see if i need if i actually need this if this is actually gets in the way if it does then i probably won't put the not the cell phone the radiator support my bad if the safe the, the radiator support actually gets in the way then i won't be able to put it on today i'm gonna have to do it next weekend and i'm sorry i'm putting 
videos every weekend because I actually I started working already so I'm trying to do what I can to get this car done but yeah oh we ordered more parts for it that's for the next video I can't really say but I still haven't even opened on op and this day unbox some of these parts I believe I haven't unboxed this one yet so I don't remember exactly what that is you guys kind of have an idea what this is I believe I showed you guys some of these parts on the other on the last video Oof, man, we got a bunch of parts we got to order. Like I said, uh, so every time we take something off, we find something new. And we have these under the car because uh, I don't want to just lay, have them laying around. These are broken parts, so just put them under the car. But I, I feel like it's not going to work, but let's give it a shot, see what happens. So yeah, we got a problem. This side fits perfectly, lines up, but once we come to this side, you guys can see that gap it has right there. Just because this lower piece, lower radiator support, it brings this side up. So we, we can't install the radiator support with that. Uh, we can't, yeah, the radiator support with the lower radiator support on because it's pushing it up from one end. We wanna do this the right way, so. In the meantime, we're just going to clean up, put some of these pieces away, and order that piece that we need. See if I can find it somewhere local or not just order it today. So not much content going on today. Sorry, you guys. But let's see what else I can do. Got the fender. That's a strut, strut assembly. I believe this is the side piece of the radiator. Uh, we can't put on the fender either because, well, this is in the way. Oh, crud. Just when you think you have everything, something, something new comes on. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go and uh, drop order that lower radiator support so I guess we'll just I'll just do this for another day well I couldn't get much work on the infinity but this is another project of mine it's a 2021 Chevy Trailblazer I should get the front end coming soon these plastics that you guys see right here that go all around the the side of the door um, I got one of the tail lights. I still haven't opened it. I have it inside. I need their, on this end, I need this plastic piece. I also ordered it. Um, same here. Also ordered that one. It's an LT model, but I got the RS front end on it. Oof, it's gonna look sweet, especially at the, it's black. And it's got sunroof as well. And another thing I like it, all black leather interior. I had the airbags blown on it, but I already replaced that. I still need to get the windshield. The spare tires in the trunk. But I'm just trying to see what it needs so I can continue ordering parts because I'm trying to get this project done since I'm already working, so I don't want it sitting here. This is not scratched up. It's more like that sticky stuff that they use, I guess, uh, so water wouldn't get in here. They put like something over it. And they also didn't have the the, the the spoiler. I had to get that. So I I mean this car was basically I don't see where it was crashed from. I think it was mostly stripped. And I'm just basically buying parts and uh, putting it back together. I also had to get this one. Gotta paint that. I mean the car's a beautiful car. Twenty five thousand miles. Oh well, yeah. Hey guys, sadly uh gotta end the day with this uh, with bad news but it's always next time so peace